tell me how this Peggy Lee show came about. Um, I was actually doing a show and uh, Sydney Meyer came up to me after the show and said, you have to do Peggy Lee. And I was a fan of the music, but I didn't know yeah, they yeah. started a journey in discovery. I, I was kind of really wild and, uh, and the wonderful uh, shape. You have uh, met just got their phone her granddaughter, Holly. Yes. How did that come about? Um, no. Holly has a Google no, alert family, that tells her whenever anything I, is happening around the world that is related to Peggy Lee. Lee. And she had read a review by Alex Bowen really here really in really New York, and she was intrigued by the review. And she just showed up. She showed up in the front row, and it was intimidating but wonderful. And she's been so supportive of the show. She's been very encouraging. And that, it actually means the world to me that she, um, she, she likes our show. Um, my next show is uh, December 8th, and then I have a show in January, January 28th and February 28th. Holly Foster Wells. I'm the granddaughter of Peggy. Now tell me um, a little bit about the Peggy Lee Museum. Well, the Peggy Lee Museum was just opened in May, May 26th, um, what would have been my grandmother's 92nd birthday. And it is in the, it's the Midland Continental Depot, where my grandmother grew up in actually her high school years. And that's where she lived, and she actually ran the depot quite a bit when she was growing up. And so they've taken the whole upstairs and made it into a Peggy Lee Museum, the living quarters. And the downstairs is a transportation museum. So I came to New York to see Stacy Silverman's show. It's a good day. Uh -huh.